My name is Fabio Capillo and I'm an assistant director for Houston Public Works. Houston Public Works is the largest public works agency in the United States of America. We are composed of about 4,000 employees. Particularly, I manage the traffic operations branch, which is responsible for the operation and maintenance of 2,500 traffic signals, about a million traffic signs, pavement markings for 16,000 lane miles, more than 180,000 street lights fixtures, and uh, thousands of ITS devices. Additionally, our branch is responsible to maintain more than 1,400 school zone flashers. This has been a trouble for us for years due to the aging infrastructure and a system that was not very friendly. Uh, we are responsible to program the beacons as the different uh, school district requires to do throughout the school year. Also, we are responsible for the maintenance of those devices. We had no system in place to make this an efficient and effective program. Everything was done manually, and you can imagine how many staff hours take to visit each of those 1,400 locations. The maintenance also was reactive. We never knew when something was non-functional until somebody reported to the 311 system. Therefore, we were looking to bring our system to the 21st century. The city of Houston followed an RFP process to acquire the, the services of a new system, and AI was selected as the successful proposer. There were several uh, things that AI was able to meet. The ability to meet the requirements of the RFP, a long history of proven uh, deployment of this type of technology throughout the nation, the ability to address current needs and future needs and also the ability to integrate with the existing infrastructure without costing us more money to change other components that were not needed. It happened to be a very favorable cost-benefit ratio that allowed us to minimize the cost of implementation and therefore maximize our efficiency in managing the program and also keep up with infrastructure. The remote school beacon monitoring system provided by AI was able to provide a solution that integrated to the current school zone beacon infrastructure and provide a reliable and cost-effective communication method. The solution has been easy to integrate to the existing infrastructure and allowed us for accurate means to monitor and program the school beacons flashers within the objective to facilitate operation and maintenance activities. The central software glance is incredibly user-friendly allow for easy understanding of all features and provide uh, quick access to vital information both for the engineering side for programming and the maintenance folks that are responsible to maintenance. An incredible value added by the AI solution was the ability to apply connected vehicle technologies to the school zone system. That was done through a travel safely app which allows the connected pedestrian with vehicles. Through the app, a driver is warned if a pedestrian is within the school zone. That would allow to increase the level of awareness of the driver. Vice versa, even the pedestrian can be warned of vehicles entering the school zone. Everything that we can do to increase the level of awareness will result in increasing safe school zone for everybody. We closely collaborate with our uh, other agency partners within the region, particularly Texas, Harris County, and Metro. Also, we work very closely with the university, all working together to develop a safe mobility system in Houston. Everyone deserves safe, accessible streets and sidewalks. That's why on August 13, 2019, Mayor Sylvester Turner signed the Vision Zero Executive Order committing to end traffic deaths and serious injuries on Houston streets by 2030. Vision Zero Houston prioritizes safety and accessibility in street design for people of all ages and abilities. Vision Zero Houston is a comprehensive and holistic approach to safer streets that supports the common good and enhances the quality of life of all Houstonians through engineering, enforcement, education, evaluation, and equity. Achieving safe and accessible streets for everyone requires us to shift how we think about moving around our city. People deserve to be safe on our streets, wherever they are driving, walking, biking, or using a wheelchair or riding transit. While everybody should travel safely, people make mistakes. And we can design our streets to be forgiving so that those mistakes do not result in fatal crashes. Our streets support our livelihoods 
and we must commit to making them safer for everyone.